Wait, what? I got in on the first try? Are you serious right now? First try. Awesome. Okay, well... Hello, everybody. My name is Dalton Rudlinger, and welcome to the Isle. This is not a game I play very often, though this is the game that I built my previous channel on. Uh, so, yeah, the Isle is basically a dinosaur survival game. Uh, it's largely multiplayer. Uh, you play as a any animal of your species, or any animal of your choosing, I should say, and uh, you basically just try to survive. The game's community is a freaking joke. Do not trust anybody. Do not group with anybody unless you know them in real life. I have basically nobody to play play around with, so I'm going to be very, very skeptical of anybody that I come across. Well, um, the Dinosuchus is what I've been waiting for for pretty much forever. So, uh... I guess I'm going to hop in as that. Although, the Pterodon... It's new as well, and it looks kind of fun to play, but I've been wanting to play the freaking Dinosuchus forever. Uh, anytime that I have the option of doing a water creature, that's pretty much what I'm, what I'm going to go as. Now, hopefully I can get into the water without being killed, because from what I've been hearing, everybody's spawn killing the Dinosuchuses. I don't know why, but... Uh, I'd kind of like to be like near an actual... Yeah... I don't think... Okay, so apparently the center is like the only real good place to actually go. Okay, and I spawned right into the water. Okay. Okay, there's a raptor over there. larger Dinosuchuses somewhere. I'm basically just going to get to a safe area and uh, I guess just hide in a bush or something until I actually need to to grow. Or what have you. Also, do not expect to see this particular dinosaur again because uh, right now I'm just on test servers. They're basically uh, stress test servers, seeing how many people that they can actually get in the game without the servers crashing. And uh, there's no guarantee I'm actually going to be able to get back into this server, which I'm playing on an EU server anyway. Alright, so I'm basically just going to hide here. No one should be able to spot me. At least not very easily. So was that me making that noise? Okay, I definitely hear some stuff, but I will join you guys again whenever something of interest happens. I forgot how terrifying this game is. Okay, I can hear something near me, like right next to me, but I can't see anything. It was like right next to the water. It might have been something getting a drink. I can't see through this vegetation. Alright, and I will also point out that it takes five hours for this thing to grow. Potentially, potentially a little on the ridiculous side, but 
It is what it is, I suppose. In the Rex and Legacy, it took like seven to eight hours, so... What is that? Yeah, this is basically what the aisle is, by the way. You, whenever you don't have anybody to play around with or anybody to watch your back, you're basically just hiding in a bush and waiting to grow. somehow spot me, I am going to be freaking mad. I can't tell if that's my dinosaur making those noises or if it's something else nearby. I think it is my dinosaur, so my own dinosaur is going to be what gets me killed. Um, to anybody who watches this, um, who, like, doesn't understand why crocodiles do this, this is basically how they cool themselves off, by uh, opening their mouths like this. It's kind of similar to how dogs pant. Um, so that, yeah, that's basically why they open their mouths like that. It, it's to help them cool off. They typically only really do it whenever it's really hot. Like, whenever they go onto the, the beach to bask in the sun. That's when they do it, but... I've, I've, ju I've just noticed that a lot of people don't understand why this guy is doing that. And I've also noticed that a lot of people, like, drag their carcasses onto, onto the ground and then eat them. They don't eat them. Wait, did I just see what I think I just saw? I thought I saw another person there for a second. I think it was just a twig or something. But yeah, I, I, I don't get the whole, like, dragging the corpse onto the land to eat it. Like, the, the animations are clearly meant for taking place in the water. I think you auto-hydrate whenever you're... That's definitely another a much larger Dinosuchus. Now, in real life, crocodiles are actually very social animals. Like, there's kind of a hierarchy between them. But whenever it comes, be whenever it comes to uh, mating season, then yeah, the males become very territorial and protective over their females. I think that's uh, one of the flyers. I think. I'm almost down to half thirst. I'm at 
3%, so... see them and I don't like that I can't see them. I think someone killed a Carno. Because I heard a Carno coming up. But I do not feel comfortable leaving my bush until the coast is clear. Hunger is going down really slow. Because once again, that's actually something that's kind of accurate. I mean, I know that it has to be different for gameplay reasons, but in real life, crocodilians can actually go three years without eating. Uh, it's one of the reasons why they survive the dinosaur, or they survive whatever apocalypse happened that wiped out the dinosaurs. Also took away global chat, so all these people that are in the chat bar right now, they're very, very close to me. There's several. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to risk it. were supposed to auto hydrate whenever you were in the water or do you just do it very slowly I can't tell I think it's maybe going back up oh Raptors? I think they were Carnos. Very young Carnos. Much bigger crocodiles than me. Here we go. This is how you drink right here. You have to have your head like right underneath the water.
Now, there are fish that you can hunt after. Oh, God. Now, do I trust these people, or do I... I mean, they haven't killed me on sight, which is usually a good sign, but... I have been with people for, like, hours before, and they still, like, betrayed me for no reason. Even as a herbivore, so I'm very skeptic of these people. I'll tag along for a little bit at least. Right, so it looks like I'm still not a fan of this grouping system. And yes, baby crocodiles do sound like that. They sound like little laser guns. I believe whenever a crocodile first hatches, they have like one or two weeks of food stored in their belly like they all like they all hatch with like really really fat bellies so they can survive for like a week without eating anything oh look at the size of that guy holy crap underneath the water. Now, crocodilians actually tend to be pretty dependent on their mother and father. The father less so, but he will protect the babies. And the mother, well, you know, motherly instinct and all that. I think she protects them for the first year or two of their lives, and then... And then she's, uh, she basically tells them to get lost, and they're forced to live. <laughs> they're forced to find their own way of life. I believe the female will lay an average of 80 eggs, at least the Nile crocodiles I should say, they will lay 80 eggs per nest but like only upwards of 5 of those babies will actually survive <clears throat> into adulthood even less, like 5 is the maximum many don't even get the chance to hatch from, from their eggs I 
believe in real life, crocodiles can hold their breath for... I think upwards of three hours? <clears throat> I don't remember right off the top of my head. It's something crazy, but... Kind of lost him. He was like right back there, but. Oh, whoa. How, how the heck did I not see you? I would kind of like to find some fish, if possible. Is that a fish? What is that? No, those are rocks. Okay. It was just kind of difficult to tell with the <laughs> with the way they looked there for a second. They look like fish at first. It's, it's just the way the water works. Now, this guy, whenever he becomes fully grown, like after five hours of waiting, you can lunge onto the beach and grab things and pull them back down into the water with you. Now, obviously, you want to be very uh, careful and selective about what you choose to bring into the water with you like this thing should like you know whatever becomes the size of that it should be able to take down a raptor no problem and i believe even the big ones can uh pull carnotaurs into the water even stegos from what i remember seeing i don't know if they fixed that or not but do not for the love of you do not go after the stego And here I am being attacked. Yep, I knew it was going to happen. Knew it was going to happen, yet I did it anyway. Any... Seriously? He killed me for no freaking reason? This is, this is why I hate this stupid game. This is why I stopped playing this game, because the freaking community sucks. He killed me for no freaking reason. He just... I was sitting right there, minding my own business. And he kills me for no freaking reason at all whatsoever. <sighs> what did I tell you at the very start of the episode? Do, don't trust anybody. That right there is the reason why. Got that guy right up there on the beach. I don't trust him. I don't trust anybody. I wish there was a way to actually, like, pull up the map. Is that a fish, or is that something on my com on my computer itself? That is something on my screen itself. Okay. Um, is that shadows, or... What's up with that? That's weird. Okay, well, um... There's also underwater caves that are death traps at the moment. Do not go into them if you're playing as the Dino. Uh, I did not want to surface here. Is there a current? Now, 
Now, if anybody is watching and they've played the Dino before, can you tell me how fish work? This game's player base is just garbage. Well, there's many reasons I stopped playing this game because of the toxic, toxic ass community. It's, it's bad. The devs don't make it any better either. Like, a lot of people say Path of Titans has a bad community. I, myself, have not stumbled upon that yet. And that's largely because I just keep to myself, I suppose. practice doing this lunge attack. I know there's nothing around here, but... Right, you have to press the, the left mouse button and the right mouse button at the exact same time. Whenever you become an adult, that's how you grab people, but... As a baby, it's basically next to useless. I'm hearing that car now. What's my growth at now? 1.3%. That's probably like at 6 or something before. I, <laughs> to be honest, I can't believe I got into the server on the first try. It's also a little bit more astonishing that I have not come across another Dino for quite some time now. Oh, I might finally have an area all to myself. The question is, is that a good thing or a bad thing? I hear raptors. Now, one thing I'm curious about. In real life, crocodiles have, like, an extra lens that goes over their eyes. It helps them see underneath the water. Is there any, like, obvious difference here? I think there actually might be. Is that... I think that might just be the water going around. Yeah, I'm, I, I don't know. Uh, no, never mind. There was no difference. <laughs> that would have been cool, though, if they had added in, like, an extra... eyelid.
I'm assuming fish spawn whenever you reach like a certain level of hunger. I don't really know. But right now, this is basically just... I'm content with doing this. Just patrolling up and down the riverways. <laughs> probably go underneath water for a little while. I said go underneath the water for a little while. to get a little I don't know the word it's I guess nervous because I haven't seen another Dino for a while and I don't know if that's good or bad I think that was uh, one of the pterodactyls, pterodons, whatever they're called. It's a noise I'm not familiar with anyway. So you can hear things underneath the water, and that sounded like it was a stego. Maybe a, uh, what are they called, Tenantos? The other big herbivore that's in the game? I'm right there. You can't even see me. All right, so how... So, once you get to a certain area, you start becoming easier to spot. But as an adult, you can probably lunge like straight up there into the beach from here and not be seen. You know what? That right there might actually be the reason why this area is not too populous by, uh, by the Dinos, because there's not really a lot of good places to hide here. I mean, if you're going to be ambushing anybody, I mean. Uh, come on, game. Come on. I'd like to conserve my stam. In case I come across anything that actually wants to kill me again. You know what, since we're kind of in a safe area right now, I don't see any other Dinos around here, and I haven't seen any Terras. So, let's check out our calls. So that's the broadcast. It's friendly. Yeah. Crocodiles do do this in real life. It's not their job like that to give a warning. Hmm. 
Now they also sound different on land, I believe. Yeah. Okay then. Can you do anything underneath the water? No. Well, that makes sense at least. Now, we'll go think about crocodiles. Um, <clears throat> at the very tip of their snoot, uh, like right where their nose would be, uh, they have like all these sensors, like pretty much all up and down their, uh, uh, their, their, their top jaw, I guess, like, all over their face, basically. <laughs> I don't know what, I forget what this area up here is actually called, but, um, they have sensories, like, all over their, all over their face, but the ones at the tip of the nose, like right here, are super, super sensitive, and that's how they're able to tell where things are. That's how they know whenever something's getting a drink, for example. That's how they kind of home in on their, uh, on whatever they're hunting. Not to mention their entire body is, entire body is just covered in armor. I forget how thick these scales actually get, but I've watched documentaries where uh, crocodiles have taken like a direct hit to the face with from zebras and wildebeests. It didn't even phase them in the slightest. All of a sudden, my mouth is getting really dry. Your back goes underneath the water, so now it's just your eyes that are that are looking over the water. That's interesting. Admittedly, it makes a lot of noise and it makes ripples on the water, so that kind of gives away your location. But I suppose that if you were just trying to kind of keep a low profile, you could do this. Partially hidden, maybe? I don't know. Oh, yeah, they'll see the rest of you from the shore. That tree trunk right there just scared the living crap out of me. I thought that was another dino coming to kill me. <laughs> All right, I can officially say that I got scared by a, uh, by a dead tree. I'm not proud of it. Whoa, hello. I just found one of the fish. Alright, so how do I eat said fish? Is it gonna be something where, like, only the adults can carry this? Don't tell me it's gonna be something that stupid. It is. The first meal that I come across, I can't... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Here we go. <laughs> I wanna 
want to like nah, no. I was trying to grab it oh you know what it's, it's a different button isn't it yeah there we go I can just stay here until this body either decomposes or I eat it all. That That is really cool how it just slides down his throat like that. Because, yeah, crocodiles don't chew. They're, uh... They're teeth are meant for biting and holding. They're not meant for chewing. And the strongest uh, recorded bite on a saltwater crocodile, Australian saltwater crocodile, no less, uh, the biggest crocodile on, on the planet, that's alive, I should say, um, what was it, like, 4,000 pounds per square inch or something like that. They have the strongest bite on the planet. So, like, I believe the only animal that surpasses a saltwater crocodile is actually the T-Rex. Minus the piranha, which technically has the strongest bite force, but it's it, at the same time it doesn't. It's kind of a a weird thing going on with that, but... Yeah, I believe the only animal that has surpassed the saltwater crocodile is the T-Rex. I could be wrong about that, but I know the saltwater crocodile is up is up there pretty high. Um, so I am just going to hang around here for a while and just take advantage of this dead fish. Oh, hello. I'm now big enough to actually hold on to this. Okay, so... I can now just... <laughs> What's my growth at? I'm at 8.5. Okay. Oh, wait. What? No! I suddenly just lost it. Or did I? No, no. There it is. There it is. It's gonna role play like an actual crocodile. Okay, you drop it after a while. Gotcha. What the? Okay, you're underwater. Behave like you're underwater, you stupid thing. Okay, there we go. Game is lagging like real bad all of a sudden. That was. What the heck is going on? Server restart coming soon, maybe? I hope not. I'm having fun. Growth is at 9%. Is like all around me, but I'm enjoying just being by myself. This is really enjoyable, I'm not gonna lie. It would be if I could just hold on to the stupid fish anyway. 
Oh, fish just disappeared. At least I got my fill for it. Uh, oh, I can't really check my hunger or thirst from the screen anymore, I just realized. Okay. Uh, so, now what? I guess I'll just continue on downstream. Look at the size of that fish! Alright, so there's multiple kinds of, like, big fish that you can get. Um, I think there's, like, five different species of fish. But whenever you're a juvenile, you're supposed to be eating, like, these smaller schools of fish. But I haven't seen any of those so far. What? Okay, Path of Titans, you, you need to talk to the Isle and uh, tell them how to do fish properly. Look at the size of that thing, though. Good grief. If it wanted to, that thing could have turned around and kicked my butt if it wanted to, but... Apparently, it just decided it wanted to die. Works for me. Your food for my belly. Yeah, I think I understand why people take their food onto the, uh, onto the shore now. <laughs> because of stuff like this. I hear something big around here. Including some raptors by the sound of it. But there's Carnos, raptors. And I seem to be the only Dino around here. Hopefully that doesn't turn around to come bite me on the butt or something. Alright, let's get you on the shore. I do want to be, like, deep enough in the water where I can actually do the death roll animation the way it's supposed to be done. Like that. <laughs> now, you do have to be careful because you can't overeat, and if you overeat, you can puke. So if you, if you eat too much, you can get sick. But I want to see if anybody just comes along and tries to get this fish. I can't technically be seen. Oh, if you've made it this far into the video and you keep hearing that beeping sound, don't worry. I need to turn that off, actually, but that's my recording system telling me that I am recording. Um, it's it's kind of useful to have, <laughs> um, but I, I, I have seen that it carries over into a lot of my videos. I don't know why it does that. It's not supposed to do that, but it does. Um... I wonder if they can smell the fish from where they are. I mean, I've got enough food to last me for quite some time. My hunger was not going down very fast in the slightest, so... Um, you know, this thing might be able to go like five in-game days before it has to eat again. the 
level of detail on... I think I know where uh, Tolkien get the idea for Sauron. That's a... Uh, that's a uh, very... <laughs> striking resemblance. Did, like, did Tolkien like actually look at the eye of a crocodile or a snake or something and say, yep, that's what I want to have as my main villain. Uh, I need to watch Lord of the Rings again. I never cared for the Hobbit movies, but Lord of the Rings, oh yeah. I need to watch that again. But man, look at the size of these things compared to a human. Just a, just this thing right here is the size of some crocodilian species in real life. Or, well, you know, I should say today, because this thing at one point did exist. In any case, I gotta go get a bottle of water or something, because my throat is getting dry as cr Oh, hello. You know you want it. You know you do. If I can manage to get into another server, I might do a, a live stream, like sometime whenever I'm on a day off or whatever. Just spend like the entire day doing this. It's like. Even though it probably doesn't make that fun of a video. It's just, it's so relaxing to just sit here and just listen to the sounds. There goes a Terra. Oh. Has he spotted the fish? The Terras are very, very weak. I know that. Oh, he's he's definitely thinking about it. Nah, I messed that up. <laughs> I say the terrors are weak, and then... He, like, face plants, like, right into the fish. Has to get up, and I still somehow miss him. I never was the best at PvP, but, you know. I guess it's the adrenaline that got me. <laughs> well, the fish is gone. Time to move on, I guess. Where does this river lead? Oh, hello. Did I get a current? Oh. Those pterodons are still hanging around. Whoa, listen to this. We've gotten past a little chirp chirp. Like we now do growls and stuff. That's cool. They're starting to sound much more intimidating. 
Also, what is this? It's a dead tree. It's what I thought, but you never know. It could have been like a dead pterodon or something. Okay, that gave me a bit of a heart attack. Yeah, I know he said he was friendly, but quite frankly, I don't trust it. I've had people kill me when they say that they're friendly. I don't trust nothing. I'm actually kind of surprised, to be honest, because that was the first Dino player I've seen in... What time is it now? It oh my god, it's almost seven o'clock for me. Ugh. Where does the time go? Yeah, that's like the first Dino player I've seen ever since I was killed. Another dead tree, right? Yeah. Now, I love how this thing does not get hungry like super fast. But it also makes me very annoyed of that guy that killed me because he clearly killed me for like zero reason. Probably some 10 year old or something thinking he's a badass because he's playing video games or something. Ugh. Kids, what are you gonna do? Now just look at this. And how peaceful is this? Just being able to actually be in the river and not have to worry about what's in the river. Well, with the exception of, you know, other dinos that are not friendly towards me, but I mean, just, ah. I'm just going to sit back and relax and listen to this for a while, because this is, I'm having more fun just doing this as opposed to going around and trying to kill everything that I see. Yeah, if reincarnation is a thing, I'm definitely going to come back as a, as a crocodile. I've made my decision. Crocodile it is. <laughs> I found a new favorite hiding spot. <laughs> That's actually... Whew, I like this. 
I don't know why, but for some reason it reminds me of Bambi. Like, whenever he and his mother are, like, you know, in the den. Wait a minute. Is this the... Is this the Redwood Forest? That I've seen advertised? I mean, I don't really keep up to, to date with the development of this game. Like, I... I hop into the Steam discussions every once in a while. Just to kind of see what's going on. But... For the most part, I don't really... Uh, watch the devs or keep up, keep up to date with what they're doing. Um... That's because I just... I kind of got into an area where I just kind of no longer cared about this game for a while. But, whenever I'm by myself and it's like this... I can start to really appreciate the game. There needs to be a single player mode. Like maybe whenever they finally get the AI settled in and get everything worked out. I would kill for there to be a single player mode. There kind of is where you can kind of start your own server, but it only lasts for like a day. But I mean, just imagine if you had like AI dinosaurs roaming around. Like full schools of fish swimming up the, swimming up the rivers and filling the ponds and lakes and stuff. And you know, the birds flying overhead. You know, just imagine. Just how cool that would be in single player. I know Saurian is a thing. That's that's the dinosaur game that nobody really wants to talk about because... It, uh, when did it come out? It came out like 2015 or something like that? 20, 2016, 2017? And it's barely made any progress at all. I mean, I'll make no secret of the fact that I have not defended the devs at all for how slow they are, but I mean, these guys are... Like on rockets compared to Saurian. Uh, I do want to see where this river goes. I, I don't think I can keep this dinosaur or this animal once I log out. I think the server restarts like at least once in a 24 hour cycle. So it's going, my dinosaur is going to get erased no matter what I do. So there's really no point in growing all the way. I, I can't even grow all the way even if I wanted to. I have to start getting ready for bed here before too long so I can go to work in the morning. Uh, but I do kind of want to see where this river leads, so... Screw it. I mean, at most, I have maybe two more hours of playing this. So I'd get maybe to, like, the young adult stage. Or maybe towards the very, very end of the... Sub-adult, I guess? The teenage stage? I don't know. Okay, baby... Teenage, young adult, full adult. Okay, that's that's basically what I'm going with. I do know there are human structures in the game. I've never seen them. I should say in the Ab in the Abrima branch, but I've never seen them. Y you know what I mean. I've never seen them in the in the Evri Oh my god. I've never seen them in the Evrima branch. That was harder than it needed to be to say. Or that was harder to say than it needed to be. Either way, you get my point. I'm moving on. In some ways, I do kind of miss Legacy, though. I, it has to be said. I do kind of miss Legacy. It's just the the shadows changing because the 
The sun is coming up and the moon is going down. At first I thought there was something rustling through the bushes over there. Like kind of following me along, but... Anything on land would have to come into the water to get me, and by the time that it... Like gets into the shore, I'm gonna be long gone. This thing is actually quite fast on land, too, as it seems. Which, you know, it, it makes sense, because crocodiles are pretty fast on land. It's just, you know, they're not really built to be on land for very long. Okay, the hunger is starting to kind of kick in. So I could really do with uh, another fish. Or a baby raptor or something. Uh, you know what, let's head, uh, head underneath the water and let's see if we can... spot anything as we're going down the down the river. Oh hey, look at this. I believe these are the uh, schools of fish that we can eat. Uh, if the camera would behave, that'd be wonderful. Okay, so yeah, you just bite them basically. like doing anything to my hunger at all it's kind of hard to keep track of where my mouth is okay I've tried pressing E and it did nothing Let's try... Whoa, okay. That was a dart. Is it something as simple as you just can't eat these yet? Or do they just give, like, so little food that it's barely even worth bothering with them? Something happened there. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I don't know if there's some kind of secret to catching those or what, but... If you know, leave a comment. So I know what to do next time. I hope this leads to, like, an actual body of water and not to... Like a waterfall of doom or something. That would be most unpleasant. Okay, there's a Carno really close here. I wouldn't mind getting a juvenile. Wait, was that? Aha! Most 
most excellent. Fish mechanics just are, they're so weird. Oh, what? That was it. Oh, well, that's a shame. I'm no longer to the point where, uh, the fishies give me, like, days worth of food. <laughs> it looks like the sun's coming out, but the moon is, like, still really high up. I'm just glad this game finally has something aside from land animals. The flyers and the aquatics are pretty much what I'm going to be sticking with from now on whenever I play this game. I mean, I'll probably play as a Utah or a Carno or whatever kind of herbivore I feel like playing as just whenever I get the urge, but... This right here will definitely be my main. like I'm being relatively left alone. I could be being stalked, for all I know. Could be raptors up there just following me, just waiting for me to come onto the beach. But, whenever I'm right here, they can't do nothing to me, so... Although, ooh, this is getting deep. And I just know at some point or another, I'm going to run into another Dino, and he's not going to be friendly. Or she. Whatever. And... Yup! Oh, that was anticlimactic. Hello, this is different. A cliffside over here, eh? Wait. I think I recognize this area. Yeah, I, I, I basically do not know the map at all. Like, this is all... Like, just strange territory to me at all. At, at all times, but I kind of recognize this area, I think. At the legacy maps, I kind of had memorized, but this map, yeah, no. I don't have it. I don't have the slightest idea where anything is. I think I used to, like, hang out around here whenever I played as Hipsy. Like, up over those cliffs somewhere, there would be a, uh, like, an open field or something. It has a bunch of rocks in it. It makes really good hiding places from uh, Carnos and Raptors. Because the Hipsy can jump higher than the Raptor can. Or used to be able to, anyway. Oh, okay. I thought there was a dead fish over there on the bank, but what? Oh, okay. It's okay. This is really deep here. Holy crap! I thought that was like a really, really big dead Dino there for a second. 
Nope, it's just a random tree stump. How the heck it got there, I'm kind of curious about, but... Hey, at least it's finally getting to be daytime again. I think I heard something. Like footsteps, something. Maybe I didn't. Well, there's definitely herbivores up there. Oh, hello. Well, this is interesting. We have a fork here. We can go that way. Or that way, and I have no idea which way either of them goes to. Okay, so that way... So that way is north or south? Hang on. Okay, yeah, that way's north. So that would be west, that would be east. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the... Yeah. I guess the meh wins. Although, ooh. Maybe if I'm careful about how I do this. No, this is really shallow, and I don't like this. Okay, I'm turning around. We're heading back. We're going east. don't like how shallow that is. I'm curious about how... Ooh, listen to that. I really do. Yeah, you know, I hope you guys are having as much fun watching the video as I am playing the video or playing the game while recording the video. Yeah, I know it's probably not that engaging, but I mean, it's just it's relaxing. At some point or another, I'm gonna get back into an area that's like really populated by dinos. I'm, pro I'm probably just gonna get betrayed. Or killed for like no reason, but. Oh, hello! I finally entered this stage. Okay. My growth is exactly at 25.5. How about that? Oh, hello. 
That is, uh, I said that's a uh, screenshot moment. There we go. Thank you. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's get, uh, there we go. I've got spots and stuff on my com computer screen, and it looks like they're fish every once in a while. Stop it! <laughs> okay, I'm starting to lag out a bit here. It's, uh, not a good sign. Whoa! Stop that! feeling the server might not be doing so great. <laughs> uh, game? Oh! Darn it! Man, right when I was having so much fun. I think it was the EU-4. I really don't remember. Well, that's pretty much going to do it for this episode. Um, I gotta say, I really like the Dinosuchus. The Dinosuchus, even. Um... So I guess in the next episode, uh, be ready for the Pterodon, because I have yet to play that. And, um, I, I'm really looking forward to whenever the update comes out, like, officially, because this was a lot of fun to me. Like, I don't care so much about going around killing everything, as you can probably tell, uh, by my particular type of gameplay. I like to just take things slow and just kind of roleplay my particular animal. And uh, ever since I first learned that the Dinosuchus was coming into the game, uh, really, really, well, really, really, in quotes, um, soon-ish, I just started learning as much as I could about crocodiles and alligators and uh, other aquatic species that are similar to the, cro to the crocodilians. And uh, I, I just enjoy this type of gameplay, so... Be looking forward to more Isle whenever the update officially comes out because I really can't wait, <laughs> to be honest. I, I really can't wait. I'm, I'm kind of excited now. Um, I might start focusing more on the Isle once everything gets settled out for this particular update because um, I, I just straight up had a lot of fun with this and I'm kind of curious to see how the Pterodon is going to go. So, um, yeah, if, if you want to see more of this, leave a like, leave a comment, um, you know, tell me what you think of this, uh, well, tell me what you think of the, Din the Dinosuchus, and, uh, let me know what you want me to do, what else you want me to do in the game, because, uh, I'm pretty much up for playing this again whenever I can finally get into a server, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe because I do focus a lot on other games. Like I right now, I've got a Skyrim Let's Play going on, like an actual role-playing series um, where I try to stay in character as much as possible. Uh, right now, I've got a series on a train game called Derail Valley, which you're, you're, if you're into big machinery or trains at all, go ahead and check out that video series and um, every now and then every now and again I play Path of Titan so yeah that's gonna do it for me hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video so until then God bless take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next video bye bye